a great woman. I think that's the main hurdle that most men have to deal with when we get into a relationship. It's, it's kind of tucking our ego. Because the irony is, is that when we're single, when we out there chasing things as far as career and trying to accomplish things, our ego plays a big part in everything we accomplish. Right? But when we walk through the door of that relationship, our ego starts to work against us. Right? Because that can keep us from listening. That can keep us from being able to accept constructive criticism. That's the same woman that was rocking with you when you didn't have no car. That was the same woman that was rocking with you when you didn't have no job. That was the same woman that was rocking with you when you was just getting your business off the ground and, and nobody believed in you. Your friends weren't supporting, your family wasn't supporting, but that woman was right there supporting you through it all. So, you know, when y'all having these discussions, and, you know, a lot of times it may be something that you don't want to hear at the time. You got to remember the source. Remember where it's coming from. Do not let your ego make you fumble a great woman, because I promise you, they are not that easy to find. Yo, don't let your ego okay hey everybody how is everybody doing i hope everybody is doing amazing let me put this deck down we're about to set up here and get straight into this reading don't let your ego make you fumble a good person okay don't so yes, we're about to get into this reading. Let's push the like button and subscribe. It don't take you nothing but a minute to boop, boop. There we go, okay? And yes, you might sit up here and hear me cough, okay? Like I told you, this weather in California is tripping. And then it's going to rain again this weekend, okay? So I am taking these. These are very, 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 very good, okay? And uh, it helps, you know, with sinuses and everything. Coughs, you know what I mean? It's really working. So, yeah. So, let's get straight into this reading, okay? So, it looked like, Divine Feminine, that you are sitting up here going a brand new um, direction right now. You in your own little world, okay? You evolving each and every day, okay? Healing, um, being nurtured, okay, by God, the angels, the ancestors, they're really, you know, got their hand, they, they, um, arms around you each and every day. You can feel them around you, okay? Divine Feminine, you are cutting ties, cutting ties with anybody on the bullshit and drama, okay? Yes, okay? You don't want to deal with your masculine because something about your masculine makes you sit up here and feel bad vibes, okay? You feel bad vibes when you think about your masculine. You feel as though he two-faced in some type of way. He didn't sit up here and make the effort to make things right with you, okay? You continue to move forward, okay? And your masculine is very, very, very angry at the moment, okay? He can also have an entity connected to him right now due to this karmic, due to this bitch that he lay with each and every night. Doing magic over him is making him feel more angry, more agitated, okay? And your masculine is just not himself, okay? And it's due to a lot of magic and spell work and voodoo that is knocking him off balance, okay? And this karmic is doing this shit because she wants your masculine to hate you. She wants your masculine to feel some type of way when it comes to you. And it's this bitch in the background that got your masculine feeling some type of way about you currently. Your masculine is very, very angry because you have cut ties and you're moving forward, okay? You have chose to love yourself. You have chose to evolve, elevate, okay, and raise your vibration, okay? Realizing that you are an earth angel in your own little world, minding your business, staying up out of other people's, okay? And you just taking a new direction in life, okay? Moving closer and closer to God himself, building your relationship glowing feeling better and moving forward okay you could be even moving towards a fire sign okay in the future your masculine <clears throat> he wants to sit up here and divorce this karmic he wants to divorce this karmic because he feels as though this karmic has snaked him in some type of way okay she done done something to your masculine that got him in, in his feelings, okay? This masculine realizing that he has hidden feelings for you as well, okay? Let me see. It says emotional manipulation. Yes, this masculine, okay, he's getting karma for all the people that he has manipulated over time. Everybody that he has hurt. 
it's going back, okay? And everybody that this karmic has hurt, manipulated, played games, harvest energy, this masculine, this karmic, this couple is under judgment, okay, for affecting all these people, okay? God forbid that they was doing spell work and taking people's lives, okay? Rituals and shit, okay? But whoever this masculine, whoever this karmic is, they manipulated a lot of people over time, okay? Yes, okay? This masculine wants to get far away from this karmic, okay? He ready to sit up here and get the fuck far away from this karmic in his emotions, realizing you know that he loves you the more and more he's apart from you. He done tried to shake you. He done tried to mistreat you, walk away from you like he has others, but something about you he can't let go, okay? And we know why, because you were his um, twin flame. Your masculine regrets sitting up here moving in with this karmic. He regrets sitting up here <clears throat> going to, <clears throat> don't want me to talk, I'm sorry. One, um, he regrets sitting up here, you know, moving in with her, coming to her, drinking, hanging out. It looked like your masculine was tempted in some type of way, okay? And it looked like whoever this karmic is, she told his ass to come over. They started drinking and everything. But this was the wrong move that this masculine was supposed to do. He fell for forbidden fruit, okay? But after he fell for this forbidden fruit, this relationship, he began to see that this karmic was super twisted, super not who he thought her ass was, okay? But the reason why he stayed is because this karmic offered him an open relationship. This masculine enjoy being able to do what he want, fuck when he fuck whoever he want, but he had an issue about being by himself. He wanted this karmic, but this karmic offered him to be able to have an open relationship. That she, allegedly she was okay with him sleeping around with all these other people and shit. Okay, and this is how this karmic stayed on payroll, stayed in a relationship with your masculine. Because she agreed to let him fuck other bitches, okay? And that's something that you wasn't going to go for, okay? This is the twisted ass shit that this bitch had came to him with proposal, okay? And your masculine went for it, okay? This was something that your masculine should have never, ever touched, dealt with, was around. And it was forbidden fruit. He was not supposed to touch that apple at all, okay? But he decided that he was going to come through. He decided he was going to sit up here and take a chance with whoever this karmic is. And your masculine moved in with this karmic, okay? I don't know if she put some in his drink. I don't know if he was just willingly wanted to or what, okay? But wherever or whoever he's dealing with. He ended up moving his stuff, okay, in with someone, okay, that he was in a relationship with, which was his karmic. This was somebody that was okay with him being tempted by other females, okay? And they both was out here manipulating other people. I don't know. Just all these people just look like they could have been harvesting people's energy or something. I don't know. Or they was just out here just being wild and free, okay? Just out here fucking just the fuck okay who knows okay doing all type of kinky ass shit okay having all type of freak offs what does it say yeah this karmic was down to do all type of shit that you wasn't gonna do divine feminine okay now his ass want to sit up here and get far away from her ass as possible realizing that he has feelings for you that he's been trying to hide from this karmic okay but um didn't know how to come back towards you because he snaked you. This masculine wants to sit up here and get a divorce because this karma could have snaked him in some type of way. Or she could have had different people working with her to snake him, okay? This masculine said that he going to make the effort to be able to get a divorce away from this karmic. Because he has bad vibes about this karmic, okay? All I know, Divine Feminine, is that you sitting up here moving forward. In your own little world, okay? Evolving each and every day. Cutting ties to the bullshit, okay? Mm hmm Because you feel as though your masculine not who his ass normally would, would be, okay? You feel as though he angry, he out of control, and... You don't want him to be running towards you after the bullshit, okay? You have decided to keep it moving. 
walked away, okay? And this masculine could be sitting up here ready to keep it moving, ready to keep going about his business. Look like he ready to go. Look like <clears throat> he finna take off in some type of way. This karmic cut up and say anything or do anything. It look like he ready to leave, okay? We got two cards with him ready to get the fuck on away from this karmic. And it look like he finna get the fuck on. He could be leaving at night. Okay, ready to sit up here and walk away from this relationship that he has with this karmic. Look like if he walks away from this karmic, she going she gonna to tell him that she pregnant. Okay, or this mask going to tell her that he don't want the baby. Okay, who knows? Okay, look like she going to say that she pregnant and look like he ain't going to be okay with that. Look like he might sit up here and get angry about this karmic saying that she fucked him. Okay. This karmic be having dark obsessions, okay? All this masculine wants to sit up here and do is ask you for your forgiveness. That's what he wants to sit up here and do, okay? What it says? It says angry, resentful, stressed out, and maxed out, okay? This could be how your masculine is sitting up here feeling or she could be feeling this way, okay? Let me get a couple of more cards and then we're going to end this and come back with another one. What else, Lord? Oh, yeah, <clears throat> this masculine's mama and this karmic is in his ear on his ass, okay, and got his ass stressed the fuck out. This is why he's stressed out. Both of these fucking musty mouth ass bitches is getting on his fucking nerve in his ear, trying to tell him what he need to do with his life and is pissing his ass off in the worst way, okay? He feels some type of way that he even listened to his mama, that he even listened to this karmic, okay? And this masculine wants to sit up here and ask you for your forgiveness for letting his mama be all up in the cha-cha in the middle of the shit. His mama played a big part in y'all relationship, okay? Breaking down, breaking apart, okay? And he's very, very angry about it, okay? And he's ready to sit up here and walk away from the karmic and his mama and fake family, okay? Ready to sit up here and take off running, okay? And not looking back, okay? What else, Lord? Yeah, look like this karmic is finna get caught up for something, or she already done got caught up. Look like this karmic is sitting up here being exposed in some type of way. Look like her mask is sitting up here falling off, okay? And this masculine sees something different than before. This masculine feels as though you and him have unfinished business. You don't trust your masculine, okay? And, um... No, no, you just don't trust him, okay? Or this karmic could be in fear, okay, that this masculine finna sit up here and come back towards you, okay? And this could be why she's finna sit up here and say that she's pregnant in some type of way. What else? What else, Lord? Okay, yeah. This karmic might even sit up here and send you a text message. Might want to get in contact with you for some type of reason and tell you that she's pregnant or whatever, okay? But it look like she could be scared to do so, okay? You can care less. You evolving. It ain't none of your business. God says stay in your own little world. God said to continue to keep moving forward and stay up out the bullshit, okay? Stay up out of it. You ain't got time. Mm-mm. No, this masculine realizing that this karmic is super secretive, okay? And her ass be doing all type of shit. He realizes that. What else, Lord? Okay, yeah. Your masculine got a brand new perspective, okay, on how this karmic is. He see everything differently, okay? He says, can, <coughs> he says, can you and him fall in love again, okay? That he won't sit up here and have wondering eyes no more. If you was to sit up here and take him back, he wants you to sit up here and give him another chance. Lord, give me three more cards. Okay, it's one, okay, two, okay. All right. We got four cards, okay. It looks like your masculine is just sitting back wondering, taking things apart, putting it back together. Shit starting to make sense, okay, and everything is adding up, okay. This masculine said that, you know, he know that once upon a time that you really did love him. You really did care for him. And he fumbled it. And he fumbled it, okay? And he's thinking about that shit, okay? Your masculine been doing the same ass shit 
this lifetime and the past life as well and still ain't got it right okay he continues to keep committing to this karmic and he continues to keep you know fumbling the ball dropping the ball okay when it comes to you and you just over the bullshit okay you rather sit up here and take time to come with another date okay and um you know, be open to your um, high-level soulmate that's coming in. That's what you want to sit up here and do. Yeah, it says, what does it say? Hmm, the void of emotions, okay? Yeah, you don't feel the same, Divine Feminine. You just don't. You just do not feel the same way. Your masculine wants to sit up here and tell you, please don't go. He don't want you to go. He don't want you to walk away. He don't want you to pull away. Your masculine said he's very much attracted to you. He's very much in love with you and wish that he would have told you. Trying to figure out on how he can stop you from leaving. So, yeah, that's what the 411 is. We will be back with another read. Make sure you guys push that like button and subscribe. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Okay? Bye.